Hey everyone, welcome back to the radial project. I've got the large lumps of the drill out today because I want to start to do some reassembly. So I want to get the column and the arm back on the table, get it moving. Before I can do that, however, there's a few things that need attention. Firstly, clean up the screws that hold the column to the bed. The famous rack that has to go back in now. And also we have a stuck bevel gear still in the bed. So a quick word about this rack before we move on. It's obviously a casting back from the days when gears like this were just cast straight from the pattern. They're not machine cut teeth. What they have done though is they've planed the sides it. so we've got some nice planar marks there the same on that side they've also skimmed the top of the t-flip as well we've got some planar marks this way interestingly is there's these fixture holes we've got one in that end and one in the other which have been drilled and they will have been used as fixture points to clamp it down to a machine table so to the planer and also to a lathe saddle or a horizontal borer which is how they would have cut this radius in the back of it we can see machine lines just radially there it's obviously offset slightly because this rack is off at a tangent slightly from the uh, main column you can also see in the troughs of the teeth is there's the odd little mark where someone's gone in with a round file and cleaned up the casting so underneath here as part of this collar is the bevel gear which drives the vertical shaft through the column now this is the mate of the bevel gear that we removed in part two um, and it's still in here so this needs to come off there's a couple of scrubs that's one little grub Let me get the gas out. Oh, <laughs> a little threat. <laughs> out she goes. Now what? So these are the grubs that were holding on that retaining collar at the top of the gear. I just wanted to show you those slots which have obviously been hand cut because this one especially is very off center are uh, just testament to the age of this machine yeah that is that is quite bad but uh does the job hmm go now I just need to go fishing god that hasn't seen the light of day in maybe 150 years got some interesting stuff going on here in terms of oiling because underneath the column there's a little drip pipe and that drip pipe is connected to an oil hole which you can oil oil comes through and I believe lands in this trough so that oil pipe is stationary and the this bearings moves around oil fills this trough and then there's a hole somewhere there it is look yeah there's a hole and the oil goes down that hole lubricates this surface but then also goes down this hole and there is an oil groove there. So I'll clean all this up now and then we can put it back again. So this is our gear. I've just cleaned up. That fits in there. Obviously from the other side. It's uh, very little slop in there, so there's hardly any wear at all. If any, it might be that sloppy to begin with. 
I found a six stamped into it, which is the first marking I found on this machine so far. So that's quite interesting, whether it's a part number or a machine number, more than likely a machine number. First drop of proper machine oil on this project, which is very exciting. Up enough, I can just get a strap down there now. Put a bar through, and we should be able to lift it up from above. Right, where are the grubs? That's a lot cleaner. That's a really clever little oiling system. And that is extremely smooth. The last piece to come out is the first piece to get cleaned and go back. <laughs> All right, now we can do some proper assembly. These washers are a bit sketchy, so I'll probably end up replacing those further down the line. You can see that one especially is really amazing how it's rusted. You can see the outline of the head. They're all different sizes anyway, so and they're not all original. I think it would look good with some nice new ones. But these will do for now. Yeah. <sighs> 
With the column casting refitted to the bed, it was time to tackle the heavy rust around the base. If you've followed along so far, you'll know how stuck this drill was when I started, so it's extremely satisfying to finally be able to clean this area up. I've opted to assemble these three big parts now and complete the cosmetic work later, mainly because that needs to be done under cover and I can only assemble these large parts outside. So today I'm only cleaning up exactly what needs cleaning in order to complete the reassembly. The rest can easily be done later and then the whole thing can be painted indoors. So this is where this rack was sat for all those years. It stays captive in the arm and is pushed around the column like so. It's really smooth around the rest of the arm, but when it gets to this area here, which is extremely pitted, it starts to get a bit sticky. And I'm worried that I'll put the arm back on and then I'll just be a constant sticky spot there. That is much better. I'm using mechanical methods to remove the rust due to the size of the parts, but mainly due to the levels of rust. There were several layers of very stubborn rust and quite severe pitting in areas. Luckily, underneath there is something half resembling a decent surface. All I can say is, it's a good job that this is only a drill and not something more precise, like a lathe. And there was, of course, similar levels of rust at the bottom of the arm, which needed dealing with, and I spent a long time cleaning the inside by hand. There was quite a bit of pitting on the inside of the arm, which I couldn't really do anything about, and I was quite concerned that it would cause some issues when I tried to fit the two pieces together. But I did the best I could, and decided that there was only one way to find out if it would work. Pulled out as much of the rubbish as I can, but the critical thing is, does this fit in there? It should be a sliding fit, and it isn't, so that's going to need some work. So the rust gets up in there and bubbles it all up, so sometimes the only way is to bring the surface back with a file it's going to take a bit of hand fettling to get right i think oh there we go Was easy. All it needs all right, let's see if we can get it on.
So if you'd have come into this workshop six months ago before I move, remove the arm from the bed, and then you came back today and looked at the drill, you'd probably think, he's not done a lot to that, has he? And I'd say, well, I have, because six months ago, could you do this? <laughs>